Hello, everyone! Today is all about telling the time. Let's go! I've got an extra challenge for you today. Can you tell me the time when the clock doesn't have any numbers? If you look carefully, there are 12 marks around the clock that show where the numbers should be. We know that 12 is always at the top. So, one will be next, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So, if we need help, we can count round the clock. Great! Let's start with a nice easy one. What time is it? The long hand is on the twelve so it's something o'clock. And the shorthand is where the one should be, so it's one o'clock. What time is it? The long hand is on the six, so it's half past something. And the shorthand is just past where the two should be, so it's half past two. What time is it? Okay. The long hand is in the quarter past position, and the short hand is just past the six, so it's a quarter past six. Next, the long hand is in the quarter two position, and the short hand is just before the eight. It's quarter to eight. Time to make it more challenging. Remember the long hand shows the minutes? Every notch on our clock is five minutes, so this clock is showing five minutes past seven. What time is it? Ten minutes past five. We can also say five ten. What time is it? Twenty-five minutes past one, or one twenty-five. What time is it? Twelve thirty-five, or we can say 25 to 1. What time is it? 2.55 or... Yes! 5 to 3. And for the last time, what time is it? 10 minutes until 9 o'clock. So, 10 to 9 or... Yes! 8.50. Well done, everyone! Now, here's a joke. What did the digital clock say to the grandfather clock? Look, Grandpa, no hands! <laughs> Catch you later, superstars! <laughs>